I'm a bastard bloke, we got tropical pineapple chocolate Blood up to evil bass as a jackalope You want a half a coat with a cast of boat Yeah, I got chronic, I want half a tote Go ahead, rookie, call your plastic boat Chase the habits fast for you, grab a smoke Confess, no joke, more like all she wrote Drop the beat, pause a note Jasper's here, well that's awesome, dope I'm Only here to tell you that it's all a hoax Unlike Mach 1, lots of guns, so lots of fun Probably at a strip club, not spinning a one Wanna play a game, well this is how it's done Creativity is our only freedom we can't dream schemes if we can't even peep them 2013 and catch me on the weekends Licking for somebody to see my teeth in Need to eat the flesh Cannibalistic priest if easy mess You be stay fresh I'm from Little Rock where the river divides Loyalty seems so hard to come by Cause river is coincide Another guy decides on homicide Kids get high on both sides of my head inside Reconsider my design Shots of liquor provide a way to find lies Permit between glass and cat eyes Thighs I despise you guys I got a repetitive set of fists that'll settle this Setting my hands on a set of tits Man it's like a set of it. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm Trooper Martin, I'm with the state police. So you so got 71 miles an hour come around that if you come around that curve. It's a 55 right here, so what's the reasoning for that? Okay. I got can I see your driver license? Yes sir. Where are you heading to? Uh headed home. Are you you been drinking anything today? No. Just went Huh? Just went to pick up my dog. You haven't been drinking nothing? I smelled it coming from the car. No. No. Uh no. Have you been around somebody that maybe spilt it on you or something like that? No. You got insurance I can look at? Um, I'm in my mom's vehicle. Okay. Um, you come around this side of that puppy dog, don't bite me. I'm not sure where my mom's insurance is. Okay. Um, hey, step back here real quick, man. Come back here for me real quick. All right. You, you want to rub your window so the dog don't jump out? Uh, he won't. He won't jump out? No. Come, come sit right here in front of my car, okay? Alright. I'm going to ask you one more time, how much have you been drinking? Now, now check it. I'm uh, not. Uh, I did last night. No, you, you, you drank, I smell it coming from you, okay? So, right. this, this is what I want you to realize. Okay, I'm a state trooper. Yes, okay, sir. I don't play games. Okay, I'm not a city cop, I'm not a county cop. Yes, if you lied to me, then I'm going to deal with that. You're honest with All me, right. I can work with that. <laughs> Yes, so sir, how much have you been drink. drinking? Yes, sir, I had a drink. I said, how? I, I know you have. I said, how much? I had a single shot of vodka. When? About 45 minutes ago. We're at? Over at my girlfriend's house. That's where I went to pick my dog up. Okay, so one shot of vodka is all you have? Yes, sir. How, how big of a shot? Just, Just a, a normal a, shot glass? A normal shot glass, yes. Okay. Sir. Have you had a DWI before? I have. How recently? Yes. How recently? It's been three years. Okay. You didn't learn from that? I did, and I've been sober for three years, up until about two months ago. And okay. Okay. I want to make sure you're okay to drive.
Where are you trying to get to? A, a mile from here. Okay. Take a deep breath and blow. Wait. You gotta hold it. Here, I got it. Okay. Take a deep breath and blow. Pull that hat right there off. So, so you know what the legal limit is, don't you? One point eight or, or point point zero eight. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working in rehab. Uh huh. Turn around. You're under arrest for DWI. Turn around. Are you serious? Two times the limit. Are you serious? Yeah, you're a point seventeen. What? Yeah, I told you this is what I do for a lemon, buddy. I get yeah. drunks like you off the highway before you kill somebody's family. Okay, I, that's what I do. Any weapons on you? Absolutely not. Just have a seat back here in the back of my car. You're going to cabin PD for DWI. Turn around. Turn around. Face the car. I mean, surely you're not surprised. Have a seat. Hey, where do you want to load up? Can somebody come get your dog? Um, my mother. Yeah. Where's she going to drive? Um, <laughs> what's your girlfriend? I, I, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. Um, Where's your mother live at? Just a mile up the road. Where, where's that at? Uh, Quail Trail, directly across from so Scotus. If I have a cabin PD guy come take your dog to her house, that dog gonna bother him, you think? No, no, that dog is super Okay, I'll well, figure something out for you. Sir, I feel super awful right now. <laughs> 78 Lerock, 224. X-ray time motion. I'm out with the DWI. He's got a small little dog. He's going to his mother's house on Quail Trail, Highway 5. You mind taking the dog up to his mom's house? So I got to call him on Animal Control. Uh, yeah, I that way. It's very small. I don't think it's going to hurt you. Can you send me 1011, please? Highway 5 at... Where? I'll on somewhere. Highway 5 at Car Corner.
you know, see me behind you when he kept going, or you know that was the police? No, I didn't realize until I saw the light. Should be, buddy. I know. You knew good and well you was way past what you're supposed to be driving. No. I mean, you're two times the limit, man. Like you knew that, huh? What? What? What did I blow? A point seventeen. That's what I told you all to go. You're a seventeen. Legal limit's point oh eight. So you're over the limit. I mean, over two times the limit. So from one shot. And you're restricted too. So you probably made sure to have any device. You don't have one in that car, do you? No. No, it's in my truck, and I was driving my mother's car. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> well, no, I drove my mother's car because my truck was loaded down with uh, construction supplies. So? So this is DWI number four for you, looks like. So, so that's a felony, felony, so you're going to jail for a little while. It, it's actually not. It is. <laughs> but I hear what you're saying. Uh, Joe so McEwen, you got... McEwen asked me um, how many oh, was this. And when I told him, I said three because it had been three in my lifetime. No, you got one in 2014. <laughs> You got one in 2017. Your first one was Brinkley in 14, and then North Little Rock in 17. Cabot got you in 19, and I got you today. This is number four in 10 years. So that's a felony. So hopefully you go to prison for a little bit. Sir, I don't. <laughs> I mean, you did this, man, not me. I, I know you didn't. I'm not blaming you. Yeah, but what's aggravating, I got family out here driving these roadways. And you can't stay at home while you're drunk. And you have some kind of excuse, the reason why you drink and drive. That's what's aggravating. I, I, and I'm sure you have seen atrocities that, that I've not seen. And that come from people that are drunk and driving. Because they yep. can't stay somewhere. Yep. And you're supposed to have a device in your truck that prohibits you from driving, but instead you're playing the system and going to another car. So, it's fine. You go to prison for a little bit, maybe you get some help in there. struggle with this addiction for some time, sir. And That's fine, but why are you driving with it? <clears throat> Stay your ass at home. Stay at home. You're going to get your freaking dog, which I don't believe that. You're going to your girlfriend's have to come. What are you doing? Nothing important enough for you to be two times the limit drinking. You're speeding. You're swaying when you got the freaking car. You're slurring your words. You're highly intoxicated. Absolutely ridiculous. You're absolutely right in everything you say. <clears throat> I'm in the wrong. <clears throat> um. Hey, real quick, uh, same place, same time. Um, I'm out here working overtime and I got a DWI and it's a, fel it's a felony number four. So I'm on the side of the road with the director. I'm going to go to Cabot and do the BAC, and then meet me at Cabot, and then we'll take him to Long County in your car because it's DWI number four. So, okay, buddy. You're good. No, I'm still waiting on the director, so. 
No. Nah. Nope. Thanks, Thanks buddy. buddy. See ya. Go ahead. Will they take my mom's car yeah. back to her house? No, I'm towing your vehicle. To oh, where? Cabot Wrecker had Cabot Wrecker behind McDonald's on 10th Street. But this, but this Cabot guy's gonna take your dog to your mom's house. Oh, oh, so your dog's not going, going to the dog okay. jail. Thank you. Thank you. I will you for Come here. Come here. Come here. I got the ID. Let me see. Are you on Atlas right now? I'll send it to you. It's yeah. done. Just off Highway 5 right up there. Okay. And he's DW got number 4, so he's a felony. So I'm going to go to your department. Do BAC and pick up Alex, and we're taking to Long County because he's a felony. He's gonna be out for right. four or ten years. So thanks for doing that, man. Because no but I'll send you this uh, on Atlas real quick. Hey, can we call my mom and let her know what's going on? Uh, yeah. Just a second, we can. I'm gonna call my mom from my block number, so she'll let you answer. She's going to be the strut, but yes. <laughs> you say what, buddy? All right, what's her number, 501? Um, 501's. You can, once you answer, you can talk. It's on speakerphone, you can talk. All right. You're going to go County Jail because it's a felony. <clears throat> yeah, but first, then Lono County. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. I'll try one more time, but she might not answer me in a block call. Call me United Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Sorry, my lady. <laughs> Hi. One, one, three, six, six, one. Hello. Hey, Levin, I didn't PBT him, but he should be good. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, 78, can you want me to sit with the record for you? If you want to deal with him? No, nah, that's good. I can take care of it. He's number four in DWI, so I'll come to you, your department, and then go to the county. So I'm sure that, that officer there would tell him, tell your mom what's going on. Then when we get to the PD and you're done with the BAC machine up there, you, I'll let you call it on your phone. Okay. Okay. She's gonna be worried out of her mind. So. Well, he's gonna he, he he'll probably tell her that you got in trouble again. And I'm assuming she'll probably assume what the trouble is, based yeah, off of your past experience. Given the but if she knows that you're under arrest, then that probably means that she knows that you're safe and not dead somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So. You have kids? I have one. He's yeah. 19. You ever thought about what would happen if a drunk driver kills him? Honestly? Yes, sir, I have. You thought um, about it. Is that a good feeling? Selfish? I, I, 
He is a good kid. He graduated. So that's even worse. If a drunk driver kills your son and who's and a good kid, drunk. right? Who probably, probably does nothing, nothing wrong. Right? No, he, he, he doesn't drink. He doesn't use drugs. He goes to the gym every single day. And that's day what I'm saying. So he, 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 he keeps to himself. He does no wrong. But, but somebody who's out here drinking and driving hits him and kills him. And he did nothing. Right? Sir, I understand. Does that not hit home to you? It does. Okay. It does. And I understand drugs, drinking, is a problem. That ran in my family. I totally get it. There's consequences. But you've been doing this. You've been caught since 2014, man. That's 10 years, and you're still doing the same thing. You're not learning. But this fourth time, Arkansas don't play by this fourth time. This fourth time, DWI, you're going to prison. Not jail. You're going to the Arkansas Department of Corrections. Seriously? DWI number four in the state of Arkansas, it should be lower, but the fourth DWI conviction, it's got to go in the court first, conviction, is automatic. Well, I say automatic. It's a felony, and it's prison time. Arkansas Department of Corrections. You're going to the prison, and I really hope you do before you hurt somebody or yourself. There's a way to prevent that. <laughs> yes, sir. I understand what you're saying. What do you do for a living? Um, I've been doing uh, build, uh, construction. Construction? Um, yeah. Framing. Oh, yeah? I spent about 20 years doing business right. consulting um, in the health club industry. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. And just in the past two years, I started going on my own and priming and trying to build uh, <coughs> Airbnbs and what have you. Is Flip there, houses. I got you. Hey, is there, is there anything of high value in that car that I need to document on this storage report? No. No, is there an alcohol in there? I'm a, no, there's not. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think my mom has anything in there, but... Are you going to blow the machine when we get up here? Um, I'm sorry you got a refusal before, so I'm asking. So, I thought I already had. <clears throat> what? No, the machine at the 
PD, you know? Oh. Would, would you always? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> What are you living for? Huh? Are you living? Yeah, dude, my hole from here to here is purple right now. Why? Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah, keys are in it. Uh, no hold or nothing, so. Right. Thanks, man. Bye. So we're going to go to Cabot first, and then um, I'm training a new guy. So I'm riding with the new guy tonight. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get in his car and take you to Lonel County and book you in Lonel County okay. Sheriff's Office. Okay? When we get to Cabot, can I please take these cuffs off for a minute? And I, I would t yeah, just yeah, because, my hands for a moment. Because, because when we get in here, you know i got to read them DWI rights to you, and then you got to tell me if you want to take the test or not. You say you don't want to take it, so you got to sign and say you don't want to take it. But during that whole phase right there, the cuffs are going to be off of you. Okay. And then our way to Lonel County, I'll put them in front of you as long as you're cool, okay? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm I figure you're going to be, but just, that's just, just how it works. Yep, absolutely. And I understand. <clears throat> You ain't able to run a van out of Japan, is you? We can try. I think this is Ben. Edward Charles. 70 Roger. 330-141-438. I'm 15 with Smell, 219. Cabin PD. right here where it says 67 yes, right sir. where my hand is yes sir that's your speed that you was going <clears throat> just so you know and uh 55 it's a 55 yep
Security Unit, Security Unit, Bill Foster and Margu. Security for our coach and a green war runner and a silver eagle.